Hi, I'm Bob Nevis for Real Time with the IPC, and I'm here today with Peter Vendenainen, President of JTAG Technologies. Peter, welcome. Hi, Bob. Hello. Thank you. Um, from what I can understand, JTAG is a company that deals with software and hardware tools for, first off, testing of, of, of printed circuit board That's assemblies, right. yes. and then they also deal with the software and hardware tools from the design side and from the uh, repairability uh, side of right. things. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit more about the, uh, the, the, the tools and, and how things have migrated with what you're doing with your company. Okay. okay. Then we have to step back a little bit, and that is looking at the technology and electronic designs these days. Um, as you know, they get more and more complex, they get ever faster, uh, and they are packaged in ever smaller dimensions. But the, the requirements that you have in the sense of testing, uh, debugging, programming uh, devices, and also doing a monitoring of, of uh, signals um, is of course still there. And with these smaller dimensions, the tools have changed and have been adapted over time, and a lot of the logic that you need to do these measurements has moved into the actual silicon. Right, it's not on the outside tester. It's not on the outside, it has. Because you can't get to the test point. Absolutely, yeah. you have no physical access. Right. So to access that internal logic, that embedded logic, for that the JTAG interface is used. And the JTAG interface is well known and used widely in, uh, in manufacturing for, for testing, for, testing circuit boards, right. for programming uh, flash memories, programmable logic devices. Um, and, and we develop and we have developed those products and, and are supporting customers worldwide with the products that but, we But that's that a very provide. mature type of technology. And that's a mature, right. mature uh, product range. Now, when, when, then, you, know, when you look into uh, um, um, you know, moving forward, it, it mm -hmm. sounds like that things have changed a little bit in the marketplace and there's, with everything being on the components, uh, what else, uh, you've got some new tools that have come out, uh, tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about that's that. That's correct. The, um, if you then look at the JTAG interface as being the access to the embedded logic, then we see that, for example, the software engineers, they know and use the JTAG interface for uh, testing and debugging their embedded CPU software. Right. The hardware engineers know the interface for programming their PLDs or their FPGAs on the printed circuit boards. However, you do see that the design engineers, the hardware design engineers, don't often use that, in that same interface for actually debugging their hardware even though that is possible by the logic provided. So with our JTAG Life product family, we now offer one hardware product, which is the JTAG Life controller, and three, three software products, a bus tool, a clip, and script. That are the three products. Bus and clip are, um, as its name also implies, are much more pin-oriented tools, um, which allow to do connectivity checking. So it allows the hardware design engineer to test connections between device pins, boundary scan uh, pins, right, right. to make sure that those connections are there. Okay. Um, the, um, the bus tool is available for free, can be downloaded for free, works with programming cables from, for example, Xilinx and, and Altera. So design engineers can start using the debugging tool already immediately download it from the website for free and, and use it. Um, the uh, clip tool, is, uh, is also available from the same website uh, at low cost uh, and also can be downloaded from there. The other tool, Script, provides much more flexibility, the maximum flexibility, since it gives access to actually any register that can be accessed through the JTAG interface. That are the boundary scan registers, but it's also, for example, the ID code registers, right. uh, debugging registers of CPUs, uh, built-in self-test registers, anything. So using uh, Script, you can control uh, those registers, write to them, read back from them, etc. And for example, it allows the hardware design engineer, if he uses the debug registers of a CPU, to simply verify if the CPU can write to the memories that are connected and read back from those memories, or write to and read back from peripheral devices. Um, and also, he can then, uh, if he has embedded uh, uh, special uh, uh, controller logic on there, like for example a DDR memory controller, right. you can simply interactively verify the settings for the controller yeah. to make sure that everything works properly on your on your board without having to write actually CPU code. And that's of course a big advantage because you're trying to debug the hardware on your board and not the software and, as and, hardware and the design of it rather than actually and getting into all the programming uh, Absolutely. before you get Absolutely. to that level. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what this tool provides and that also makes them boards which have 
you know, the test capabilities built in, um, much more boundaries get testable and also enables them then to use them again in, in manufacturing, in production, for doing the bore tests right. there. Or debugging the, the any debugging problems the or issues or failures yep. that, they, yep. that they, they currently have. Yep. Um, what's What's been the reception so far for uh, for the tools? It's uh, it's excellent. People uh, have received it uh, quite well. We have lots of downloads from, uh, from the website. Many are uh, using it worldwide. And it's very positive feedback, so... Uh, Sounds exciting. It looks like people know how to use it and are appreciating uh, what they can do with it. All right, Peter. That's well, good. thanks for taking the time to stop by and thank letting us know well. about this. Uh, looking forward to seeing a little bit more about it. Okay, thank you. For Real Time with the IPC, I'm Bob Nevis. Mm -hmm.